The drivers are fighting for job security, what they call livable incomes. One request, a minimum of $28 an hour. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this time along, uh, around, we're going to take a look at Uber. Uber drivers are contractors, not employees, Labor Board says. And this is coming out around the time where there is a supposed strike of uh, drivers, Uber drivers and uh, Lyft drivers, mainly Uber, I think, uh, based on some other videos that I've seen. And it's it's already common knowledge that Uber drivers are not employees. They are contractors, just like DoorDash and uh, Uber Eats and uh, Grubhub. Uh, Amazon Flex. You're not employ. You're not an employee of that company. You are a contractor. So this coming out here. So I mean, the drivers have been going on strike, refusing to drive because they want they want something better. And apparently, the labor board is saying, "Well, no, you're wasting your time." <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, not too long ago, the National Labor Relations Board, handling an important victory to Uber, has concluded that the company's drivers are contractors, not employees. Well, duh! <laughs> that was not rocket science. The move outlined by the board's general counsel in, memorandum, in a memorandum released Tuesday deals a blow to drivers' efforts to band together to demand higher pay and better working conditions from Uber and its main rival, Lyft. It is the first major policy move the board has made concerning the so-called gig economy under President Trump. Contractors lack the protection given to employees under federal law and enforced by the Labor Board for unionizing and other collective activities such as protesting the policies of, of employers. As a practical matter, the conclusion makes it extremely difficult for Uber drivers to form a union. Well, if they're not employees, then I don't see how they can make a union. Uh, so it's not extremely difficult. It's like pretty much impossible, I'm guessing. The, board, the board's general counsel, Peter R. Robb, who was appointed by Mr. Trump, does not have purview over other laws applying to employees, such as minimum wage and overtime protections. Still, had Mr. Robb's office found that drivers were employees rather than contractors, the decision could have put pressure on the regulators who enforce such laws to reach the same conclusion. Now, I wonder if a Democrat w were in office, would this have been different? Would they have actually sided with drivers and had forced uh, Uber to compensate them better? I, I, I don't know. Uh, the labor cost of companies like Uber and Lyft would probably rise 20 to 30 percent. According to industry estimates, if regulators or courts force them to treat drivers as employees, both businesses have seen their stock prices fall after recent public offerings. And I've mentioned this before in uh, uh, some other videos. So, like, I lost money on Lyft because I bought it like when they first uh, debuted it. And so I'm just gonna hold on to them. But then Uber, I also got a couple of shares with them. But I waited. <laughs> I waited because since it fell on Lyft, I figured it would do the same with Uber, and it did. So when it dropped after a couple of days, then I bought a couple of shares in Uber. Uh, the companies appear to be walking a delicate line. Investors and analysts have suggested that the businesses might have to slash their labor costs to become profitable. Well, in order to slash your labor costs, that's why they don't have employees. That's why they hire contra Yeah, that's why they hire contractors. Drivers fre frequently complain that pay is already un unacceptably low. And yes, uh, this has a this is a valid argument also. 
um, you may think the pay is good until you start calculating how many miles you're putting onto your vehicle and the gas and, and, and all that and you wind up it winds up not being as as good as you were hoping uber lost nearly two billion dollars last year and lyft lost nearly one billion we are focusing on improving the quality and security of independent work while preserving the flexibility drivers and couriers tell us they value uh, so there's this opinion thing of last month the labor department mine or whatever in both cases, the conclusions reversed the approach adopted by the Obama administration, which had suggested that people who found work through apps were likely to be considered employees. So, well, okay, so there you go. Um, Obama was Democrat, so I don't know. If a Democrat is in office, maybe things would be uh, a little better when it comes to uh, the gig economy. Uh, overall, would it be better? <laughs> who knows? I don't think you can win either way. Uh, in 2016, the Labor Board issued a complaint against Postmates. I, I do Postmates. An app-based delivery service over allegations that the company had interfered with workers' ability to exercise their labor rights. The agency could not have issued that complaint without first concluding that Postmates couriers were employees. Um, let's see. Anything else in here worthy to read? Um, the memo tells Uber drivers and many other gig economy workers that they should not bother reporting a labor rights abuse to the board. Uh, da, 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 da. That's about Mr. Rob. Media consequence, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's really nothing else there in that article, but I will link the article into the description uh, because I believe in quoting my source so that way you know where I'm getting this information at and then you can go in here and you can read it. There's some links here that you can click on too. And uh, that's another reason why I put that. There are some uh, channels out there that will uh, talk about news articles, but they don't give you a link because they're wanting you to watch their video. And I don't much care about that here. I mean, yeah, I want you to watch my video, of course. But... I don't make money off of these videos so I'm just I'm just doing this for you guys so if if you want to see my reaction and my feelings and thoughts and opinions on some of this stuff that's why the video is there if you don't care about that and you just want to read the article well then the articles in the in the description but if you do watch hey I love you for it uh, anyway what do you think about this? Do you drive for Uber? Do you drive for Lyft? Uh, do you maybe use them as a service? Do you do uh, any driving for any of the, uh, the, the gig jobs that are out there? Uh, I do Postmates. I do um, DoorDash. And I also do Amazon Flex. I've not been able to get into Grubhub. That was something that I've been trying to get into, but no luck. Um, and there was Instacart. But who knows? I, I've got what I've got right now, and, and it seems to be fine. But uh, anyway, yeah, let me know. And if you're new here, please subscribe. So that way you can be notified when another video comes out on this channel. Because I do a variety of different things. And so, well, who knows? Maybe one of those things might interest you. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you on another rambling video.